Today, we're going to take a look at hidden Wi-Fi networks and how to attack them. On this episode, a cyber weapons lab. I often get asked about hidden Wi-Fi networks and whether or not they're more secure than a regular one. And in general, the answer is no, they're not. Now, this is for a variety of reasons, and these reasons are what we're going to go over today when we look at how we can attack a hidden Wi-Fi network and what exactly that entails. Now, a hidden Wi-Fi network is actually the same as a regular Wi-Fi network. The only difference is that it doesn't include its name in the beacon frame, making it impossible for a device to join the network unless it first knows the name of the network. Now, that might seem pretty difficult to do, but in fact, it's actually quite easy. And there's a number of ways that an attacker can learn the name of a Wi-Fi network that's hidden without necessarily needing to do some sort of elaborate crazy attack. Now, in brief, one of the ways someone could learn the name of a hidden Wi-Fi network is by monitoring the phone or other device of a, of a person who's connected to that network before, because their device will basically be constantly screaming out the name of that network in plain text because it never knows when it's actually physically close to it, mostly because that network's hidden, so it's not announcing its presence. Now, this is a surefire way to be able to learn the name of a network. And another one is simply de-authing someone or kicking them off of that network for a moment. When the two join, then you'll be able to intercept the name of the network. So that's also a great way of being able to attack a hidden network that has somebody connected. Now, the final way of doing this is something we'll be doing today, and that's attacking it with MDK3 and doing an attack against a brute forcing list so we can try to determine the name by just brute forcing it. Now, in order to follow along today, you'll need a wireless network card that can be put into monitor mode, like this alpha wireless card, which you can find in the description or on the Nullbyte article. You can also use a D1 Mini to create a hidden Wi-Fi network if you need a target. Once you have both of these together, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. So this is really not a good security practice if you're looking to keep your network stealthy, because not only do I know that it exists, I can very easily extract the name as well. While hiding a Wi-Fi network might not make it appear on people's phones when they're nearby, it's truly not a secure way of hiding your network or making it more secure, as we've found today by the fact that it will cause your phone to constantly scream out the plain text name of that network all the time. Now, if you want to keep your network more secure, I recommend maybe turning down your Wi-Fi power so it's not broadcast as far, and also making sure to set a really long and secure Wi-Fi password that you don't use in another place. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. If you want to follow along with everything we did today, you can check out the link in the description for all of the components we use, as well as a walkthrough. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, you can hit me up on Twitter at Cody Kinsey, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.